a, a, a professional cleaner to come in and, and do it. Unless you enjoy doing it. Like I enjoy cleaning my cars. Um, so I, I don't call a, a, a car detailer to come in. That's kind of my solace. Um, but you know, you may, you may be the weird one. And if you do, um, I got a job for you. If you could, uh, hit me up at my email. Um, by the way, it's, uh, we're at a dot a daily podcast.com. That's our website. Please tell somebody. And, um, you know, we will constantly get better and bigger and faster and stronger. Um, so the, um, the, the cleaning part of it, I always tell people, um, you know, they come to me, Oh, you know, what do you use? What do you use? Uh, I'll use whatever's on sale. The, the bottom line is if somebody wants to do it themselves, um, it doesn't really matter what you use. It's not going to work out <laughs> unless you do it every day, all day. You're not going to be good and it's not going to be easy. So, uh, just, if you don't like one company, call another, call another, there's different companies out there. Um, my only recommendation recommendation would be is that you get your estimate in the slow season in the winter. Um, or if you're a snowbird, get it in the summer. And when people are hunting for, uh, for jobs, you know, contractors, cleaning contractors, uh, there, you're going to get a better deal when, um, the sun's not shining, so to speak, and, and, uh, nobody's getting their work. And that, that's probably with any industry, um, mostly the, the cleaning industry that I'm in. Um, I think that, that tends to pop. Um, speaking of, I just had one drive by me. Um, it's funny. I look at a lot of these companies and, you know, they are, uh, you know, our, our company, we're, we spend more money on R and D and anything else. So we're kind of the leading edge. Uh, we, we kind of set the standard, I think, um, outside of England, I know England's all in as far as their, uh, the safety stuff goes because their government is like, Hey, we don't want anybody to ever take any risk. Um, you know, that's the government's job. We'll, we'll send them to war. No problem. But you know, as far as uh, just trying to earn, earn a living, no, no can do. And then California follows and then, you know, everybody thereafter. So, um, it, it is an indus- uh, interesting business to be in, but it, if, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And, you know, I think that, uh, with, with something being hard, you know, whether it's, it's, it's doing an actual skill, um, or just digging a hole, whatever it is, just do it long enough and event- eventually it gets easier. And the same thing with business, like all the stuff that, that used to be super hard, it just gets easier. You just deal with it. Um, the stuff that remains hard is the stuff that you typically shy away from and avoid because it's like you never learn how to deal with it. You never gain any muscles, um, you know, when it comes to that. So, uh, so yeah, so de- definitely, uh, you know, when you're, um, when you are in it in an industry and it's like, Oh, it's not working out. Just stick with it. Make your mistakes. Don't be afraid of, of somebody, um, you know, telling you, Oh, you're doing it wrong. Oh, you're charging too much, you're charging too little. Just get in the game, make your mistakes. Um, and that's the only way you're going to be successful is eventually you're going to run out of mistakes. So I will take a quick break and I will talk to you later. Hey everybody, go to next-sugar.com to get your real sugar with half the calories or up to half the calories. Sometimes it may be in the 40 percentile. Uh, Get your uh, ketogenic diet going and that's one way to get it going. If you don't want to do it, buy it for somebody that you care about because sometimes people just need that kickstart and it may just be a box or a bag of Next Sugar. Also, you can bake with it. And check me out on a daily podcast on Instagram. I'm going to be posting some stuff every day. Just kind of little teasers to get other people going. And eventually we will get the website going. It's adailypodcast.com. But be patient, very patient, because it's me building it. And my big IT team um, that consists of my wife right now are working on it arduously. As we speak, well... Right now she's probably watching the news with the kids right now. Uh, I'm certain, as soon as she's done with that, I'm sure she'll get right on it. Anyway, I know she listened.